Oh, is this actually in there? Oh, sh I didn't know that was in there. I thought it was just the pool. There's an actual pump in there. Okay. You ready? Oh, fuck. Oh, sh All right. Yeah, that's just, Wait, no, hang on. I got you. I got you. I got you. Let me help you. Okay, all right. You got it? All right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome over here to Lungers TV. I know I haven't seen you mother here since uh, last year. This is the first video of the year. I'm going to go ahead and do you a favor. Do you guys a little favor. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to kick it off with some I don't even know where I was going with that. <laughs> I don't even know where I was going with that. I was going somewhere, but then lost my, my, my train of thought. But I did pick this thing up right here. This is a 14 foot, best way, durable. Oh. <laughs> all right, good start. Hey, hope you guys are excited for today. Oh, all right, here we go. We don't have Cam with us today. We won't have Cam for the rest of the week. He's gonna start back here next coming week. He's got some stuff going on, uh, family matters to attend to. So I am, I am here alone. Well, not alone, I got myself and Tardio's here. He, I just picked him up from the airport. But that thing you guys see, I need that, and I also need another thing. Toby's got a couple mounts in here that apparently, I don't know what the hell he's using these things for. Toby, what are you doing with these? But I do need this. I am going to need this chicken wire. We are gonna be needing that. This mount seems like we've seen better days. What in the world is going on here? Look at that, that's pretty bad. Seriously, Toby, what, what is going on with these mounts? Did you buy these at auction or something? I gotta, I gotta, let's go brighten that up a little bit. Look how bad that is. Did Toby ever tell you what these mounts were for? Oh, he's trying to give them away? I wonder if he got them at auction or got them for free. Oh, shit. I need to get wire clippers. What else? Oh, we're also gonna need this pump right here. This is the one that was actually out on my place. Um, when we were, what was that? What, what was that called? When we built the uh, the sprinkler system, this was the, the, the pump that was actually pumping the water out of my lake to, to spray the seed on the dam. So we're gonna need that. I need some wire clippers and I need some tie. What's that, that? Yeah. No, we're gonna need that for our, the project we're doing. I know, I don't even, did I even, probably no, didn't even didn't tell really you what we're tell doing. What I didn't tell you what we're doing, it's fine. We'll figure it out. I need to go get rid of this tree though. Gotta be, gonna be back to making like daily YouTube videos is what my goal is. Uh, we're gonna be getting back into storage units. Uh, I do have three that I'm looking at to buy this week. Uh, fishing video startup again tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited. We're gonna get back into the swing of things with 2021. Starting with this one. This is very important. What's going on right here? This is uh, extremely important. Uh, as you guys know, we're at Toby's place. Toby's, okay. So, Tardy was here to help me with this. This is Toby's boat ramp. Currently, this is where you put into Toby's Lake. Now here in the next, let's say I, I, two to four weeks, uh, probably two weeks, we're gonna be, this will be available to the public along with the shooting range and all that. It's all opening up at the exact same time. Now we're gonna have to get a, a tank set up here to move fish out of this lake and into mine. So every single fish that you guys catch that's under 16 inches, like I said, we put inside of this pool that we're about to set up and we gotta make it raccoon proof. You guys know Ricky likes to get in there and just dabble along, that's, that's what the chicken wires. But, yeah, so if you guys are pretty excited about that, you got about two weeks or so, and you guys will be able to start booking to come out here and fish and or shoot at a Battle Springs Ranch, which is pretty exciting. 14 footer. 14 foot. Uh, so in a sense, the first people that come here for the first like three months or so will actually be stocking my lake. We'll be transferring the fish once a week from here to mine because you can transfer private to private. You can't do public to private, of course, or private to public, either or. All right. So the one thing we're not gonna be worried about is putting, we're not gonna hook up the filtration system. Oh, <laughs> that was kind of tough to say. We are not gonna hook up the filtration system. So basically the idea is people are gonna come here and fish, throw some fish in the live well, uh, all the ones that are 16, park the boat right here, right behind me. Hopefully we actually are thinking about putting a dock in. We just had a quote on that. And then you just throw the fish in there. And then once a week we'll take them in a the little transport thing we're building straight up to my place. But this lake is actually a hundred acres. I don't know if we've ever said this on camera or not, this is actually a 100 acre lake and the average depth is like six to eight foot tons of grass like if you guys are going to come on the website and try to book for this place i would assume who march in april oh my god the spawn here is probably nuts oh i probably shouldn't have done that huh yeah i right. probably shouldn't yeah, have done no, that it'll be all right that was one of those moments i instantly regret <laughs> How many gallons do you think this thing is? I mean, we could do the math. No, just don't, I, I, I just read, what do you think it is? I don't know, probably two, a couple hundred. It's 2,700 gallons. That's what I said, a couple hundred. <laughs> Look, 20, oh shit. Oh, Toby, I'm sorry, I may have overdone it. I know you and Emily might be watching this video right now wondering, holy shit, what is Rob doing on our land? I may or may not have accidentally ordered. That's kind of big, that's a big pool. That's a really big pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 20, 2,700 gallons. 
we may have f***ing over it on this one. All right, quick little update for you guys. Uh, well, we got about a foot elevation difference on this side, so that's not going to pan out. That's not going to do. That's not going to do as well. Gabe just left to go pick up the pump and hoses because we're gonna fill this sucker up and then I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna throw a fish in there today. The reason why we don't need to run a, uh, what is that called? A uh, filtration system. We don't really need to do that because we're gonna be able to change out the water and in and, and, and the pH levels and the alkalinity, everything is gonna be perfect because it's gonna come directly from the lake into here. We're not gonna have any issues where if we were to use well water or whatnot, we're just gonna use that water into here from there to mine. We, get, we gotta move this now though. when you think about it for a uh, an above ground swimming pool that we're just gonna put fish in it's kind of submerged in Rob's lake for a couple of weeks <laughs> yeah uh, the, the rain came pretty quick and yeah yeah so I sent Ridge he shocked his clothes off went down there and got it it was about eight foot deep so I done a little cleaning on it I ran it a little bit so hopefully it'll fire up She sounds great. Okay. All right, there she is. Come on, now. Come on. Come on, water. I just want to say how weird this looks. I mean, from this angle, look. Yep. It looks like a pool full of. Shake it twice. Yeah. Nasty water. Well, that's pretty much it. That's that thing. So I don't know who's going to be the first person to throw a fish in there. I was originally thinking it was going to be me, but I got some stuff I got to get done. I got to go back down to the warehouse. I got to grab my boat, get prepped for tomorrow, because tomorrow I'm actually going to be doing some, some stuff you guys have been asking for. I've been asking for. Oh man, this is, this is good. It's good to see this. this is one of the one of the things we needed to get done. We finally got it done. Man, I don't think you guys realize how good it feels to be back up here, getting actually getting the boat prepped to do something. Like it, it's been, it feels like it's been forever since I've, I've been up here. Oh, good foil. Yeah, if you guys did not know this, my entire boat was foiled at one point uh, about a week ago. I think Weston Smith did it. No, I think I, I know he did. Um, let's see here. These are all my rods. Yes, I've got some more Guggen rods. That's good because I've got some uh, reels at the house. I need to grab some fishing line. What else do I need? God dang it! I have a job. Look at this. Look at that huge thing of foil in there. Alright, boat's been plugged in. Oh, shit, I didn't think I had any of these. Yes, mother f Yes, yes, yes. Look at this. I thought these were all sold out. Look, I got some. I got some of the new uh, swim baits. Hell yeah. Look at this shit. The revolver. That's not a swim bait, clearly. That's a topwater prop bait. Then we got a contender. Oh my gosh, this makes me so happy. What's the, where's the junior? Where's the junior? So those, oh my god, you guys. You guys have no idea how oh, here we go. Here's the junior ones. Look at that. Look at that. Makes me so happy. God, that makes me happy. Okay. What do I need to do with my life? What do I need to do? Get this huge thing out of here. What the hell? Man. Oh, man. I'm just sitting, I'm just sitting here thinking about something. I haven't really cleaned this boat up, like got it organized. And I bet you there's just so much. Oh, and the rods are going to be available here very shortly on goonsquad.com. Ah. Oh yeah, I need to spend Wednesday. It's gonna be raining on Wednesday and I'm fairly positive I need to spend Wednesday. Look at this. That is an, an entire compartment just full of, oh my God, that is a mess. Tell me this one's not. Come on. All right, that one's organized. Yeah, we're about to get into the, my favorite time of the year is spawn. The spawn season is about to be kicking off. So, but yeah, guggensquad.com. I just found out you guys can use the code LUNKERS at checkout and save 10% off. 
did not know that, but now you guys can. I'm literally just gonna take these, gosh dang it. I'm just gonna take these contenders. I'm gonna, I'm gonna unfortunately do that right now. I've got a giant box of the house too, son of a bitch. You know, as, as I sit in here, I kind of feel like I let you guys down quite a bit over the last like month. Well, I if I say that, but I had shingles. For the past, I don't know, maybe two months, I really haven't been making videos the same way I have been. And that's, uh, right now my motivation to really get back at it is, is here. I'm, I'm excited uh, to get back and make some fishing videos, some shooting videos and all this kind of stuff. I've just been really busy with a bunch of just stuff. Um, I know earlier we showed that clip of, of, of the stock trading stuff. I, I, I don't take that, some, some people are gonna take that the wrong way. What the, has that always been there? Has there always been flames? Is there flames on Rackley's? What the f Rackley's boat's not here. Is there really always f flames? What the hell? Wow, I just actually noticed something. I've had this boat for like six months and there's flames on the windshield. I had no idea. I don't even remember what I was telling you guys. But anyway, I kind of felt like I locked, let you guys down over the last couple months and I'm, I'm, I'm back, I'm back at it. I'm excited. I'm excited, we got, a new, we got a new camera. I'm hoping we can use it tomorrow. I don't think it's, it's gonna be in tomorrow, but may, probably not, but it's gonna be attached to here and it's gonna give us an overhead view while fishing. It's something that's never been done before. I ordered a specific camera just for this. Me and Cam were having a conversation about really changing up the fishing videos because they're just so bland and boring. Well, they can be. Because I've been, I've been doing these for, I mean, how long have we been doing this? Going on six years now, I've been making fishing videos. I want to change it up. We got to, we got to really change, we got to change it up big time. And I think we're going to be able to now. I don't know where I was going with this. I'm going to get this boat loaded up. I'm going to head back over to the house. I'll catch you guys later. I'm going to get up really early. We're going to be making a long haul out east to hopefully go catch some, some green fish for you guys. I'm going to get these rods set up. I do love you guys. Hey, hope to see you here soon, Cam. Hope I see all you guys here in the near future. I do love you guys. Let's go ahead and roll it. Sweet, succulent, mother <laughs> out y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's good.